Water usage in plants. Water is absorbed by the roots and transpired from the leaves. About 90% of the water that is transpired evaporates, leaving behind minerals. The remaining 10% of the water is retained by the plant for other uses, such as photosynthesis and growth. The amount of water that is transpired can vary depending on a number of factors, including the mineral requirements of the plant, the density of the mineral water solution, the ambient temperature, and the humidity in the air. Of the water that is transpired, 80% serves the purpose of cooling the plant. This means that only 20% of the water that is transpired is essential for the uptake of minerals, that is, 10% retained by the plant and 10% from the 90% that evaporates. In summary, water is used by plants for a variety of purposes, including the uptake of minerals, photosynthesis, growth, and cooling. The amount of water that is used for each of these purposes can vary depending on the environmental conditions and the needs of the plant. In addition, the plant will adjust its transpiration rate depending on the density of the mineral water solution. If the solution is diluted, the plant will increase its canopy to allow more transpiration and meet its mineral requirements. If the solution is dense, the plant will slow down its transpiration rate or reduce its root osmosis rate to prevent excessive mineral uptake. This is especially important in hot weather, when the plant needs to conserve water for cooling. Finally, if there is not enough moisture in the soil pores, the plant will wilt. This is because the plant will not be able to absorb enough water to meet its needs. Additionally, if excessive water is applied, soil pores will be filled, plants will suffocate for oxygen, and the water mineral solution will be diluted. This will lead to low mineral uptake, which will affect the plant's health. The sap in the plant will become watery, and insect attacks will become more evident. Furthermore, the poisonous proteins produced by the Bt bacteria will be diluted and will not be enough to kill insect infestations. Water plants properly to avoid overwatering, which causes root rot, wilting and insect issues, as it hinders water and nutrient absorption, leading to leaf wilting due to suffocation of plant roots. Plants can also absorb water through their leaves through a process called foliar absorption. Foliar absorption occurs when water condenses on the leaves or when water droplets are sprayed on the leaves. The water then enters the leaves through the stomata, which are small pores on the underside of the leaves. Foliar absorption is a relatively minor source of water for most plants, but it can be important in some cases. For example, foliar absorption can be used to deliver nutrients to plants, or to water plants that are growing in dry conditions. Please note that these are operating principles and not formula. The figures used are hypothetical and may vary depending on the specific plant species, environmental conditions, and other factors.